My country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what i'm up to on this fine sunday afternoon yes sunday afternoon uh we ended up not going uh to babysit for our sweet maverick this weekend because he got sick bless his little heart he's been struggling with a cold and respiratory stuff, you know, bless his little heart. So, uh, we have been here this weekend and keeping in touch with Candace and, and Dustin. And we ended up going to Kristen's yesterday because her birthday's coming up. So we took her her birthday gift and spent a little time with her. Uh, but then we've been around here, you know, for the rest of the weekend. So I thought, and I have been gathering parts and pieces for a tray design and I just had it sitting here on the kitchen uh, table behind me and it is a dreary nasty yucky day and my mood is not you know I'm, I'm not you know this happy-go-lucky upbeat person you know so today so I thought I would come on here and do a video because when I do my videos it makes me happier you know so I thought I would come on here and try to be a little creative <laughs> we'll see how far I get and I have a couple of questions that I wanted to answer too. So I've gotten a couple of questions in the last couple of days. So, so, so anyway, I ran into at home uh, earlier. So I just picked up a uh, glass candlestick. I had one glass candlestick here and I can't find the other. I don't think I had another one, if I'm honest. So I wanted to have two glass candlesticks. The only problem is these are this one, the one I bought today is just a smidge taller than the one I already had. So Chris was going to work his magic in some way or another, or I will find a little shim to lift this one candlestick up a little higher. But what I thought I would do, uh, my tray design is going to be a little bit more uh, rustic glam, if you will this time around. I, I'm gonna be using a uh, grapevine lit pumpkin like this. I got this last year at Hobby Lobby, I think. So this is one of the elements that I'm gonna be using in the tray, but I'm also going to be using this beautiful Fenton vase that Amanda got for me, Amanda Thrasher got for me and sent to me. I've been trying to use this throughout the season since she's gotten it for me and I've redecorated it and it has been in this tray so I can see it all the time because you know we watch TV every evening and whatever and I did leave the the tag on there so uh but I am going to be using this so as you can see it's going to be a little rustic glam you know with the addition of this it's going to be kind of different well you know and what's not different what I do I do things differently don't I than you know uh some others so and and that's okay we're all individuals and we all do things differently which is which is neat and which gives you guys lots of ideas right right <laughs> but what I thought I would do with these glass candlesticks uh was to use these blue pumpkins that I purchased last year and I just had sitting down on the credenza last year uh, but I had a table runner on there last year and I had, it was a blue and white table runner. I'm not going to put a table runner on there this year. I have been really enjoying it without it. So I wanted something to lift this dark blue up off of the, up off the, uh, credenza. So I'm going to glue dot these to the glass candlesticks. And I think that will be really pretty. And these will flank the tray design. Also, on the credenza, I'm just going to add these two crystal, I'm not even sure if they're crystal, I don't really remember where I got these, y'all, but they're just a couple of leaves, candy dishes, and eventually I may put some candy corn in these or some wrapped candy of some sort, uh, you know, I'm not going to put anything in them right now, they're just going to be sitting down on the, on the credenza, but I thought it would be pretty just to add another element of a little bit of glam, rustic glam, you know, so I'm going to be using these. And then I'll show you what else, what other parts and pieces I've, I've gathered for this tray design. 
Uh, but I also wanted to show you, I got this pillow from At Home today too. And I have not been buying pillows, y'all know. I've been buying just pillow covers for quite some time now. But I saw this and I just thought it was super cute. You know, pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. And I love the blue and the, you know, kind of the muted orange. And I thought this would be pretty sitting on my couch or in one of my big blue chairs here. You know, I thought this would be pretty. So I did buy this. It was 19, I believe it was, 19, I know it was 19.99. And uh, this candlestick was like $4.99. And I just saw this literally on my way out. Uh, another thing I did buy, I bought a couple. I can't only reach one. But I bought two of these because I thought, well, if I, if I couldn't get the glass to work, I could put it on the white because the tray I'm using is white. But y'all know I really like the glass better for the, for the look I'm going for, you know? So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to turn my camera so in a way in which you can watch me work and we're going to first of all we're going to glue dot uh these pumpkins onto the candlesticks and then I'm going to put together this tray design and we'll see what we come up with all right all right on this dreary Sunday afternoon let's brighten the place up let's cheer us up huh not that it's dreary where you guys are <laughs> it just is dreary here okie dokie here we are and here, put this back up there. I can always use two of those somewhere. But here are the two glass candlesticks. And I don't know whether you can tell right from there, but this one, this one is just a little bit shorter, shorter than this one. You know what? And that's okay. We'll figure it out. And it's going to be flanking the tray. So I don't even know whether we'll be able to tell the difference. So anyway, I'm going to put me some glue dots, which I need to order some more for myself here, glue dots on each of this, these candlesticks and get the pumpkins on and then we'll move on to the tray. I'm gonna put four on each one. Glue dots, you can find them in my Amazon shop which I'm gonna show you how to find my Amazon shop here. And that's one of my questions. Somebody had asked me how exactly to find it and I will show you. So here we go. And I'm just going to, actually I'm gonna turn my pumpkin over and I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna to try to center it. Right on this pumpkin. Pretty good. And these are not quite as vibrant of a blue as the vase, but I think as separated as they will be, it's gonna look super pretty up there. So. There we go. Also, it depends on which way you turn these. They look bluer in some ways than others. You really can't even tell the difference, can you? Maybe a little bit. Anyway, there we go. All right, now, let me get my tray over here. And I have this pumpkin. Like I said, I've got it plugged in here at the island but we'll be plugging it in behind, of course, the credenza over there. So there, that's gonna go back in that corner, right about like that. Then I'm gonna make an arrangement in here real quick. So let me do that. Look at the pretty heart though. It is so pretty, this is so pretty. And I have just some, these are the same kind of leaves that I used over on the, uh, fireplace on the mantel and down at the hearth. And let's see, actually let's do it this way. And I have a 
a grapevine pumpkin to match that. Again, with the rustic glam, a little yellow sunflower there. Let me see if I can find a bit of a blue element for up in the vase. This is the bag that I've used for, oh, I didn't even say on here, but everything in here was in the centerpiece last year. I am gonna use these, this grouping here of pilgrims. So I think I might like to pull in a bit of her dress, you know, a little bit of burgundy. And I do have some blueberries. And go. And that and bring some out of this side. Just you know, a bit of a fall. A touch of fall here and there. I think that looks pretty. I might revisit this bag full of stuff here. I want something around that pumpkin. So let's see. I think I want that right back in the corner. I think I want the 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 family here. Like kind of like that. And then I do have this little white uh, milk glass candle holder and I've had this in here ever since I made up this design the very first time and I think I just want that to sit right there and really that's it. I do have this Harvest Blessings but if I set it down in there it'll be hidden and I just don't I don't I don't know we'll see. I could put it up on a block but we'll see. Let's see what else I have some more of those grapevine pumpkins. Let me pull out some of these florals. I don't want it over the top, but I would like a little something coming out of that side. The blueberries. have a couple of picks here. Well, I think that's, I tell you, I don't want to do too much. I really don't. may be able to sit the harvest blessings down in front of the tray you know like that on the right on the credenza put a little bit of yellow in here and maybe some of this I think that's it, y'all. I think that'll do it. That's super pretty. I have some kind of some berries here. That'd be cute. Yeah, I, 
think that's fine. I think that looks pretty. And the other thing I would do is to bring this, an element of these, you know, down. Mm -hmm. Looks cute. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm doing. I love it. Make it look super cute, just like that. It can't be very high because it sits on the TV credenza, and of course we watch TV every night. So, I put any blueberries over here, did I? A little bit of blue wispy stuff. There we go. I love it. I think it's super pretty. And then the pumpkins will go on either side, as will the candy dishes. Oops. You know? And I think it'll be super pretty. I really do. All right. Let me turn my camera here. Of course, at the end of the video here, I will take everything over and get it into place on the credenza and show you the final, the final result for sure. So let me pull this up here so I can push this on back. I'm really happy with that. That turned out really pretty. I love it. All right, let me turn my camera and pull up my questions. I love it when a plan comes together like that. I've been thinking about that for days and days and days, trying to think of how I could make it a little bit more, you know, rustic glam this year. Just a little, again, just a little something different. Uh, I think this is not the tray I used last year. I didn't have the vase last year, so I didn't use that. And I had remembered that I had had the lit pumpkin for when I was down there doing my purging. I, I remembered I saved that. And I said, well, that would be really cute to kind of bring an element of, of rustic and then, with the, and then with the pretty Fenton vase, bring in an element of the glam and then build a, build a centerpiece. I love it. All right, let me get my computer here. Like I said, I know I have two questions that have come at me this just in the last couple of days. So let me pull them up. All right, here we go. Number one is from Wixom Family, and her name is Valerie. <laughs> uh, your mantle is beautiful. I have a question for you. A master decorator. I don't know about that, sweetie. I, I don't consider myself a master at anything. <laughs> I try. I try. You know, I'm never afraid to try, but I don't know if I've mastered anything. <laughs> Uh, I was wondering why you put the new rose gold candle holders in that order with the tallest on the outside. That is one thing I struggle with, knowing what order to put items in that are different, when they are different three, three different heights. You always say to do what makes your eyes happy. I tried my candles in different orders and they all look good. So I was hoping you might have some tips. Thanks for being you, Valerie. Well, thank you so much, Valerie. Um, you know what? I had them up there the other direction and somebody had, had said, you know, everything's great, Arlen, for me, for my eye, but boy, oh boy, if you put those candles the other direction, it would make my eyes feel better. Well, I did put them the other direction and it made my eyes very unhappy. <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, I just didn't, just couldn't, couldn't have kept them that way. And then when I put them this way, I was like, that's right. That, that's right for my brain. I don't know why. And again, we're all different and we all need to decorate the way in which we all decorate in our own homes. You know, now if you're staging something for somebody else, then you need to work with your client, you know, and, and ask them what they want. And if it's happy when you're finished with, you know, to their eye, and then you might need to go in and tweak or something. And let's say I'm decorating my mantle and let's say I want to do something different that on the left than on the right. For whatever reason, the taller of whatever I'm working with has to be on the left. 
I don't know why that is, and I need to work it down to the right. For instance, this tray design, as a matter of fact, that's a good example. The taller portion of the tray design is on the left. If I had put that on the right, it would make me crazy. It would make me crazy. Very rarely will you see anything that I do be taller on the right-hand side than the left. That and That's with everything, and I, do, I find myself following along the, those same lines pretty much with everything I decorate. So, I, I, and I, again, I am not educated. I am not an educated uh, decorator or crafter, as a matter of fact. I've taught myself everything I, I know to do myself. And what I didn't know, I might, you know, YouTube it, like the funky bow, you know, but then I made that my own and doing my own way of doing that, you know. So, uh, again, I, I, I just have to reiterate to follow your gut. Do what makes your eyes happy. Do what makes you feel good. You know, if you do a design and it looks off, then tweak it and fool around with it. And it might need to sit for a couple of days. And then like the mantle, I, I remembered, I didn't remember about the acorns until I was like, there is something missing from that mantle. And then I remember, oh, it's the acorns, you know? So we found the acorns and added them. Never be afraid, afraid to tweak and to work with, you know, your stuff to, to arrange it and make it the way it makes you feel better, you know, or make the way in which it makes you feel good to look at it. So I wish I had some tips and tricks that I've learned, you know, like from a book or something, but I'm sorry, Valerie, I just don't. I just, I just go with my gut and I just decorate the way in which I think it looks good, you know, to me. So, uh, then number two, Arlen, I'm fairly new to your YouTube channels. I do so love yours. Uh, thank you so much, Donna. Uh, but I don't know how to get to the Amazon store that you mentioned. Can you please tell me? I see things I would like to purchase. Thanks much. Uh, sure thing, Donna. I, uh, I have made a little video here. Every video I put up will have a, what's called a description box below like where you watch the video. Now, if you watch the video on TV, you'll need to do this on a computer uh, or on your phone. And I'm not sure about an iPad or, an, or a tablet. I, because I've never used one. So I'm not sure where or if there's a description box available if you're using a tablet. I know you can find it if you're using a phone. It's just little, it's either little, little two little arrows and you just scroll down a little bit and you'll see, I'm, I'm putting up a little video here of, of just to show you where it is and what it looks like in the description box. So you just click on the, the arrows and or where it says more and uh, you should be able to find it right there in the description box. And then within the Amazon storefront, I have what's called gift idea boxes and you can just scroll through the boxes, click on the boxes, click on anything in the boxes and you'll see. And some things come and some things go. If you don't see a price on something, that means it's it maybe not available or if you put it into the search box, you might be able to find it again. So... Uh, but yeah, that's how you get it. That's how you get to my Amazon storefront. Thank you for asking. I have that question a lot. So thank you for asking. Uh, and that's really all the questions that I, that I have you guys. I don't have any more, uh, to, that I can remember right now or that I pulled off. And, um, so I guess that's, that's all I really have for you. I mean, we, you know, uh, it's, it's a kind of a, uh, rainy, not really rainy, Chris wishes it would rain more. We've been so dry around here, but it is just a dreary, dreary afternoon. So I just wanted to do something to cheer myself up and maybe put a smile on y'all's faces too. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, I guess that's it. I guess that's it tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll be back because this is what my planned video was for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, my next thing is the cozy corner. Uh, and I have a I probably will come back tomorrow because I have a ribbon haul. If nothing else, I have a ribbon haul from Bobby. And if I can get the cozy quarter finished, I'll, I'll, um, I'll reveal that. But so, you know, All of those of, absolutely. thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed in the last couple of days. My numbers have really clicked up. Thank you so much. Uh, for joining my little YouTube family. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for your sweet comments about the naysayers and so on. I appreciate all of your comments from the other day so very much, so very much. And we have, we have knocked them back to the back burner, haven't we? We're not listening to them, you know? 
So also, if you haven't subscribed, I still notice in my algorithms that I kind of know how to look at now <laughs> that there are a lot of you who do watch but are not subscribed. And I'm about at 50-50, 50 50 50 percent are subscribed who watch and 50 percent who watch are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed and you like what you've been seeing, please, please, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and then the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos that will be coming up uh, all but two weeks in September because I need to go uh, stay with my dad while he has a total knee replacement. And my channel, it may go quiet for a while, but I'll be in Stacy's town, my cousin, and, and she and I craft together sometimes. So I don't know if we can, you know, pull something together. But please do hit that, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell <laughs> and share. Thank you so much in advance for that. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to shut this one out. And uh, let me go into my final words and say, I don't have any mischief with, I might, I might have a few pictures of Maverick. I might, I don't know, I'll see. Maybe, might have a little video of him. Uh, so anyway, all right, let me go into my final words and say, thank y'all so much for stopping in here today. And for those of you who have been struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around that I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.